hello everyone in this video i will show how to write a program in java using socket programming to scan all available port on a system so uh, what is the approach what we are going to do is that we are going to create a tcp server on our machine on all possible port number so if a <coughs> A server is created on a port number successfully it means there is no another service running for that port number on that machine it means that port number is available in case if uh, uh, that server is not able to be created there will be a exception so in that case some uh, application already having that port number so one approach is that second approach we uh, we will use socket class object and we will try to connect with a target machine with all possible port number so if we try to establish a connection successfully it means on target machine there will be some application running on a port number if there is no connection established it means there is no application running on target machine so we are going to write a tcp port scanner so for that thing we need going to need uh, java.net package and let's say this is our program port scanner so what we are going to do is that first we need a IP address so when we will run this program at that time we will provide the IP address and that address actually will be stored in this command line argument so we need we will create a socket class object and then we will write a for loop this loop will actually start from let's say we will start from it 1 and then we will go for so this is the actually complete range of port number now here what we will do we will try to a create a socket connection to the machine which IP address is given at the time of execution and that will be stored in this one so what this statement is doing this statement actually trying to establish a connection with this machine on this port number and this port number we are starting from 1 so first we will try to make a connection with this machine at port number 1 so if a server application is running on that machine this connection will be established and here we will print that port open and then we will print which port open now uh, if uh, on a target machine on port number one there is no server application running in that case in this statement there will be an exception and whenever there is an exception control of execution will be transferred into catch block and in catch block we are not doing let's say anything so let's save this program port scanner.java now we will open a terminal go to desktop we will compile this program okay now we will run it so at the time of execution here we will specify ip address which we want to scan so i want to scan same machine my machine local host okay so this one is executed so this program actually start creating connection to local host on all possible port number so whenever it will find a open port number so on that port number connection will be established successfully and in that case we are printing so first port number it found that uh, there is some application running on my machine on port number 21 that's why it successfully established a connection with my machine now it is trying to connect on other port number as well so this application actually will keep on running until it will complete 
this loop and uh, when this application will complete actually it will provide all open port number on machine which IP address we have given at the time of execution. Thank you very much for watching.